Hello, Jason E. Street, the DEF CON Group's Global Coordinator, and this is the year in review for 2016 and looking ahead to 2017, uh, what we've done uh, this year and what we're planning on uh, next year for DEF CON Groups. Uh, I'd like to start off with, uh, on a positive note, uh, we had a lot of good uh, enrollment uh, for DEF CON Groups in, uh, around the globe. Uh, from a global perspective, uh, we have uh, new chapters now in uh, Beijing with Jun Li, uh, Anthony in Hong Kong, Peter in Shenzhen, uh, Luther in Singapore, uh, which was, was really good. It's like seeing a lot more activity going on there. Uh, we also have um, Dino in Johannesburg, uh, Grant in uh, Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, we're starting up on a, a group in uh, Bucharest, Romania even, and we're getting a lot more involvement with uh, uh, different chapters uh, starting up uh, around the globe, not just uh, in the continental U.S., uh, which is a good thing. We want to get more voices out there, get more of the community uh, active uh, in, in uh, DEF CON groups. Um, on a, on a, on a not-so-good note, uh, we have had an issues uh, recently with the uh, the Lukau uh, India incident where we actually had to disband a DEF CON group uh, because of their uh, branding a conference uh, as, if, as if it was DEF CON, uh, which is not something that you can do. It's like uh, you can be a DEF CON group, uh, but that does not mean that you are DEF CON. So uh, there's only one DEF CON conference that happens in Vegas uh, every year, um, and it's not something that, that goes uh, around and, and does touring. It's like uh, we will uh, are looking into creating DEF CON uh, group villages, DEF CON villages to go to different conferences maybe and share that DEF CON experience uh, at other conferences. But uh, unfortunately you cannot uh, use the DEF CON branding uh, as trying to make yourself appear that you are part of DEF CON, you're a DEF CON group. Uh, so uh, we have more information that on, on the website uh, that you can look into. We love the involvement, we love the enthusiasm of the DEF CON groups, but you have to understand that um, for branding and for liability reasons, it's like uh, there is a definite distinction between the two. And I think uh, one of the other things we need to talk about is the year of the hat contest. Um, did not go well. It's like uh, straight up, it was, uh, we had two uh, entries. Uh, I think that was uh, mostly a failing on my part. Uh, I got involved uh, in DEF CON groups. I wanted to start off big. I wanted to start off uh, with something uh, out there, but it's like uh, may have over uh, overestimated what we could do and, and what I could uh, actually achieve uh, right out of the gate, uh, which was which was all on me. Um, but we did have two good DEF CON groups that actually tried uh, the DEF CON 775 uh, and uh, group DEF CON 775 and the DC uh, 414. Uh, both did good entries, the great entries helping the community, helping out uh, the people in their community, uh, which is what we are trying to achieve and get more involvement in. And uh, so therefore, they are the de facto winners. Uh, we'll be contacting them later about getting what their, their prizes are. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, and also on, on that note, it's like I have to admit that um, I am not the best organizer uh, person out there. It's like I don't adult very well. Uh, that's not a secret. Uh, and so a lot of these things that you see that are getting done behind the scenes uh, are not done by me. Uh, and that's an important fact that I want to make sure that we understand. And I think it's the perfect opportunity to actually uh, call out uh, quite a few great members of our team that are doing a lot of work, uh, volunteering their time, volunteering their, their, their skill set, uh, to help make DEF CON groups uh, more cohesive and, and make it even better than it was this year or it's been in the past. We're going to just grow it and make it better uh, in the upcoming year. And it's through these uh, the works of these people, uh, starting off with Tottenkoff, uh, Megan Wu, and, and Supes, uh, James Smith. Uh, we have a new organizer in charge. Uh, like I said, I don't adult very well. He's going to help be more of the supervisory uh, part of the uh the group organization of uh, Brent White. Uh, we have uh, Sarah and Kent that are also helping. Uh, so uh, these guys are the reason why uh, DEF CON groups is, is running. It's it's still doing the functions. It's still in, uh, getting new groups updated to the website every month. 
they do a lot of work behind the scenes and um, it's not just uh, one person uh, doing this. Uh, also, there's Will who's in the background who's constantly uh, getting providing swag, providing uh, stickers, providing things that we can uh, give out when, we, when I travel. Uh, to different conferences and talk to different DEF CON groups, uh, meet them face to face uh, in their cities, uh, giving them a little token of appreciation from DEF CON for the work that they're doing. Uh, that's from Will, and it's all done under the good graces of Dark Tangent, of course, uh, who, who's a firm believer in this, who's a firm believer in the community concept of getting um, DEF CON groups started up, not for the sake of having a DEF CON group, but the sake of having people and local hackers having a place that they can meet uh, on a uh, in a local setting where they can talk to each other and they can meet and they can collaborate and they can just be part of something there so uh, that's a really great thing uh, that we're also trying to continue and, and try to uh, work on more um, one of the things that I think that we've learned uh, from lessons learned this year was no matter what kind of ideas that you have, <laughs> it's like out there, no matter how grand you think they are or how wonderful you think they are, uh, it's best to actually see what people want. It's like what people are willing to look for, what they're, what they're asking for. Uh, and that's one of the things I don't think we did too much uh, this past year. It's like I went and said, hey, this is what I envision. This is what I see. Let's make it happen. Uh, and that didn't work out as well as it should have been. It's like because it just I made that mistake. So what we're going to be doing next year is in the next uh, month or two, it's like we're going to be sending out to all the point of contacts for all the DEF CON groups that are registered on the site already and have submitted uh, their forms. Uh, we're going to send out emails to those point of contacts uh, with the email address they provided uh, with a survey. And basically it's going to ask, what do you want from DEF CON groups? What do you expect DEF CON groups to provide? What do you expect us to help you do more in your community? Uh, we're going to start getting those voices. It does two things. One, it makes sure that we know that the point of contact is correct, that that group is still uh, around. Uh, so that's a good thing that it's going to do. It's going to make sure that these groups are active still. Uh, the second thing that it's going to do is it's going to give us that voice that we need to know how we're supposed to make it. Because this is us helping to serve the community. It's like, that's what this is about. We need to know what is needed and what is expected from the DEF CON groups so we can help do that. Um, and the, the last thing, uh, just to make it fun, is uh, we're going to make it a contest. So once everybody has entered, uh, it's like by the end of February, everybody's responded to this survey, all the different DEF CON groups that have responded, we're going to do a drawing, a random drawing through that list of responses and we're going to give out some uh, care packages to those groups. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to read all those suggestions. We're going to read uh, all that input, and we're going to help. Uh, we're going to use that to help make DEF CON groups more what people that are doing DEF CON groups are looking for, uh, because that's what it's supposed to be about. Um, DEF CON groups, and it's like, and I've, I've gotten this in a lot of different. Uh, places I've been, uh, I mean, and it's not politic. Uh, it's not based on uh, any one geographical location. It's different locations, different places, but it's a thread of like, why do you have a DEF CON group? Why is it there? Uh, I've got the 2600, or I've got a makerspace, or I've got this other insert, you know, meeting here. Why do I need a DEF CON group? And that's a great question. It's like, which we're going to help, you know, get an answer for because uh, we're going to ask them, like, what does this provide for you? It's like the thing that it provides for me, it's like that, you know, the 2600 and the other groups, it's like there is no com com uh, competition. That was one of the other things we get. It's like there's a competition between, it's like, if you can't have a DEF CON group and a 2600 group at the same time or in the same city, and that's not correct. It's like DEF CON groups forms is a community that's surrounded the, the ethos of DEF CON. Uh, that is the conference that is like the now, you know, conglomerate of conferences, many conferences ha ha being held under one tent. Um, it's, the, it's the ethos of learning, getting together with like-minded people and learning for the sake of learning. 
the sake of figuring out how to do things. Uh, that's what DEF CON groups is providing. It's like that local attachment and understanding uh, and being able to talk to other people in your community instead of having to wait once a year to meet with the rest of your family, the rest of your community uh, in Vegas, you can meet locally. It's like I've been to places where the people there know they're never going to a DEF CON. It's like they just because of their their political standing because of uh, their location because of their funds uh, because of their situation they have no aspirations to actually ever make it they just cannot see themselves making it but with that defcon group they feel like they're a part of it and it means something to them and it means something to me and it should mean something to the community to have that kind of camaraderie that kind of connection and it's like, and it's through a conference, and it, and it's and people think well, it was just this one conference that happens in Vegas. It's more than that, and a lot of people feel that, and a lot of people want to share that feeling with others, and that's part of what makes DefCon groups so important because it helps get that message out there. Um, so, um, I want to end this on thank you for your support so far. Uh, thank you for. Uh, the toleration of uh, uh, of the mistakes that we've the, the fumbles we've done. Um, thanks for listening through this uh, rambling uh, video blog, uh, whatever this is uh, going to be uh, labeled as. Uh, but just thank you for for being part of it. It's like this is a great community. It's like it's something that I wholeheartedly believe in. It's something that I uh, feel is important. It's like not just for that once a year time, but it's like for everybody in different parts of the world and different communities to feel that connection and I think DEF CON groups provides that and it's like an, I'm a firm believer in that still and uh, I want to see uh, more activity I want to see more connections uh, grow it's like I want this to be a global community uh, I have a lot of ideas of how I want that to happen uh, that's great <laughs> but that's not just how it's going to work uh, I need your input. It's like uh, we need your input on how to make this so everybody can benefit from it. It's like uh, we want this to be a community effort because it is a community uh, group. It's like so uh, please help us with that. Please be part of it. Um, and thank you. It's like uh, I'm looking forward to 2017 as a uh, a a resurgence of the hacker spirit, the uh, DEF CON community um, ethos going out uh, globally and uh, being even bigger and better. So thank you once again. Signing off.